As a youngin', do it all for the G. I'm only conversations, tapping the mental. We tryna build like a king. Sit down with G Connect, gotta think. While I'm spitting the game with bass, I got a shout out to D. As a youngin', do it all for the G. I'm holding conversations, tapping the mental. We tryna build like a king. Sit down. Hey. What it blue world? What it do? Shit low, Snoopy Blue. Tapping in with G Connect. Conversation coming soon. So check it out, Crip Juice. I need y'all to like, subscribe, comment on the YouTube. G Connect One. You already know what it blue, car. Eat sight. All right. It's your boy Newport tapping in with G Connect, where different generations have real conversations with G2Bs and D Neil. So like, subscribe, and share, and hit the notification bell. Check this out. GLA double dollar sign each side. That's right. Glasses Malone. And you already know you tapping in. G Connect, nigga. G Connect, nigga. I like that con part. Hey, hey, man. It's Mr. Ted, man. And if you don't know and you do know and you do know that, a whole lot of pack gang shit tapping in with my boy G Connect. With different generations have real conversations. Boom. Yo, what's up? It's your boy Kato for you, man. And I'm with my boy G2Bs, the G Connect show, man. Where different generations have real conversations, man. My nigga D Nail, man. Y'all tap in with him, man. Real motherfucking spiritual, real spirituals, man. West Coast Street spirituals, man. Oh my mama. It's your boy Kato for you. Smoke a lot radio certified. Get them, big bro. G2Bs, D Nail. G connected. They fucking with the low today. What it blue, y'all? Snoopy blue. He side up, cause. Hey, tap in. Go cop that. Stop playing featuring T Hottie Rascal Low. Lady uh Trendsetter. Go cop that roses. Go cop that space shipping. Everybody can't go. Just go cop my shit. That's the best gift you can get for a nigga. You feel me? What it blue, y'all. He side or let me turn my phone off too. Same here. My shit was ringing yesterday. I'm off perp, perp, granddaddy, granddaddy. Escalade, hot box, fog, another pad. Stank up. My shit been on silent mode since yesterday. <laughs> and I just tried to turn it off and turned it off. See, I was back. Right. Yeah, I did that. I did that already, babe. I made sure I did. Yeah, I did that for he even came in here, nigga. He was like, fuck all this shit would be great, man. Right. What it do, folks? It's your boy, J2 motherfucking B. Your homeboy D No, 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 no. I ain't know. gonna add the motherfucker up. <laughs> I ain't been saying that I ain't feeling good this morning. Yeah, hey, I'm fresh. I ain't had my bake yet. I'm good. I'm good. Got that wake up, you feel me? Alright. What it do, folks? It's your boy, G2B. Your homeboy, D. Nail. What up, there? And we are Generation Conversation Network, better known as G Connect. Connect. And today we got the East Side of the, 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 the coast up. The coast, the coast up in this motherfucker. Snoopy. The blue. Low. What it do? What it blue? What it blue? Top of the mop, man. Top of the mop. What welcome, blue? welcome, G. Welcome to G Connect, man. We thank you for tapping in. You know, and, and keep it moving, networking and connecting, you know. That's so for right. people that don't know, Blue, where was you born, bro? I was born in Northridge, California, you feel me? Uh, like in the Valley. My parents met out there in college. And um, they both were South Central, though. So I was born out there, but brought right back to the belly of the beast. You feel me? The east side. Uh, wait, 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 wait. One more second. One more second. Can we do that? I'm glad it's the first one. I ain't got shit on Two months now. Hold on, real quick. Yeah, yeah. Get to 
Smoking that good this morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this morning, man. That's what happens when you, when you take that first to the next in the moment. The best time to smoke, man. Yeah. I agree. Start your morning off with a nice blunt, cup of water. Mm-hmm. Or, yo, you know, I don't drink coffee. But, uh. <laughs> Mix, mix, mix yeah, I left that coffee alone too, man. I fuck with the tea. <laughs> yeah, I drink tea. Yeah, tea, man. They got tea. I already and smoked cigarettes. Tea, teas and leaves. Like yeah. They got teas and leaves, and we got what Starbucks that I don't even fuck with. I'd never get Starbucks my money. I don't fuck with that shit either, man. Expensive ass coffee. Nigga, I, I just drink right in my goddamn kitchen. <laughs> Oldest crystal, nigga. One scoop. Bam. No, right. no sugar, no taste, no nothing, nigga. Oh, nigga, my amped shit, up. My shit like motor oil, nigga. <laughs> shit, nigga. My shit like motor oil, nigga. Right. You know, so yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm ready now. I'm ready. Sorry for the extra All right, three, two, one. What it do, folks? It's your boy J2V. Your homeboy D Nail. What up, there? And we are Generation Conversation Network, better known as G Connect. And today we got the East Sider, the Low Snoopy Blue up in the house. What it do, Snoop? What it blew? What it blew, man? Thanks for having me. You feel me? Man, we oh, thank you oh, for oh. tapping in, man. You know, with G Connect, man. So for the people that don't know, man, where were you born, bro? Uh, I was born in California, Northridge, California. You feel me? But uh, my parents was from South Central. They met out there in college. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Northridge. But um, yeah, I was born in Northbridge, Northridge, and then brought right back to the east side, South Central, Los Angeles. What schools did you go to growing up? Shit, all of them. I was, uh, my, my grandparents, you know, try to uh, bust me to the Valley schools, you know what I'm saying, for better opportunities. But, uh, you know, a nigga was fucking up, getting into fights and shit. Then nigga end up coming back to L.A. Unified. I went to Locke, Washington, got kicked out of both of them and then had to, uh, you know, finish my education in the continuation. But I got that paper. I got my diploma. You feel me? Um, I got what I went there for, but I had to move around a lot because I stayed fucking up when I was young. You know how I was. Yeah, growing up east side. Mm-hmm. Who, who, who did you grow up listening to as a teen as far as music? Uh, shit, the Fat Boys, UTFO, Curtis Blow, uh, EPMD, Kwame, Big Daddy Kane, shit like that. Before the gangster rap scene hit, you feel me? For sure, for sure. So who, who 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 do you listen to today? Uh, shit, I listen to uh, mainly shit shit from like the '90s to like probably like 2012 or some shit like that. It's a lot of good music out today, but I'm more or less cling to the to the older shit, man. That era that I grew up in, that funk. You feel me? But it, it, it's it's some shit out there today I listen to. I, I see. I seen you got a, a project or a song a collaboration with uh your boy uh. Newport from 60s, how'd that come about? Oh uh, yeah, I had this idea, uh, you know, I created this song called The Bluest Nigga Breathing, being that, you know, shit, since high school, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, every time niggas see me, I had on blue, you feel me? So that's where the name Shitty Blue came from. So um, Kiki Loco had produced the beat, I had the concept, had my verses wrote. I kind of had a hook, but the homie Kiki felt like, you know what I'm saying, Newport would fit that fit it perfectly, you feel me? So I hit him up, he came through, I, I, I pitched him my uh, shit, but then like shit, probably about five minutes of us smoking, shit, the blunt wasn't even out, like you feel me? That nigga like, I got it. That nigga went in there and did his shit, you feel me? Good looking out Newport, you feel me? Shout out Newport. My nigga JR, Nitro, they shot the video for me, you know what I mean? They all connected, you feel me? So you never know really how world is small, I mean, how small this world is, you know what I'm saying? Everybody be, knowing somebody that knows somebody. So it was like, once that, you know what I'm saying, that puzzle got put in place, it was like everything else just fell in. When did, when did you start rapping? Uh, Started rapping about eight, nine years old. 
You know what I mean? It was like therapy for me after I lost my mom. You feel me? Um, I, I didn't talk that much. So I used to just, you know, scribble my thoughts down. You feel me? Just it was it was therapy. It's therapy today. You feel me? But yeah, at a young age, man. Do, do you remember your first song? Yeah, I do. I do. Because it was like, uh, I think I was in like the fifth grade elementary school. Uh, Martin Luther King Day came. Um, they had a rap that they had people perform every year. You feel me? And then I was one of the people that was picked to perform it that year. But um, I, I I ended up adding some at the end, adding my own little twist. So they liked it. And, um, you know what I'm saying? They liked it. So I um, ended up performing it from, you know, different schools and all that. And then that's when I just started really, you know what I'm saying, becoming professional with my pen, crafting my shit. What, what are some uh some resources that helped you along while you was coming up writing and stuff? Uh God, man, God, you know what I mean? It was all like I consider myself an artist, not a rapper. You feel me? I paint pictures. Um, I'm not just trying to make words rhyme. So um I was raised in the church. Um and it's just it was just a feeling. Like you feel me, like everybody got that gift. So it, it all came from him, you know what I'm saying? I, I, that's my greatest inspiration. Right, right. For sure, for sure. Did you, did you start off solo or part of a group? Uh, it was always solo for me, you feel me? I used to rap with a cat named Taboo, but we never was in a group, because he was in a group. He was in the Young Hogs, they out of Compton, but he off the east side, you know what I'm saying? Not too far from me. We used to rap together, but we always wrapped up under our names and never really called ourselves a group when we, when we did get out. But um, it was always solo for me. Well, how many how many mixtapes or albums would you say you have? Can you name them? <clears throat> yeah, uh, I got Hood Classics, uh, Mr. What It Do, The Truth, uh, My Life, Let Me Live It. No, My Life, The Soundtrack. My Life, Let Me Live It is actually a CD I put out before I was Snoopy Blue. You feel me? Under s Mac. Spelled E S M A C because I'm from the East Side. Snoop had came out around that time, so I couldn't come out as Snoop, and I really didn't have no, you know, what I'm saying no other name at that time. So I had S Mac, and I did some way back then under that. So that's the My Life, Let Me Live It. But I got My Life, the soundtrack, and then I got uh, parties and funerals, and then you know a uh, bunch of singles sprinkled here and there. You feel me? What what projects are you working on today? Uh, right now, just just spitting out singles. You feel me? I ain't really focused on the whole project. I will probably the uh, top of next year. You feel me? But right now, I'm just just getting shit off my chest. You feel me? All right. So, what what motivates you to get up out the bed and and still rap in there today? You know, uh, once again, God, man. When I open my eyes, it's like a breath of fresh air. It's like a do over. So. You know what I mean? I'm like my best hours when I wake up and it's just like when I open my eyes, it's just like, thank you, God. Like, you feel me? Like, I get another shot at it. You feel me? So that's my greatest motivation, opening my eyes. You know what I mean? For sure. Being, being, being that this 2021 and you've been in the game or been around the game for a while now, you care to speak on how you've seen it change from then to now? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, um, I done did uh, other interviews, you know what I'm saying, where I said, you know, uh, you know, music ain't the same, but everything changed. I was watching a movie the other night, uh, uh, Why Do Fools Fall In Love, the Frankie Lyman. I think, yeah, the Frankie Lyman. And um, when the Hispanic group, you know, they went to go get signed, they thought, you know, the, 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 um, the dude thought he was signing, you know, a, a Hispanic group or whatever. So uh, they went in there with the doo-wop, you feel me? And they changed the game. You feel me? It was like the music changed. So music gonna always evolve. You feel me? It's just, you know what I mean? Do you like it or not? You feel me? Even if you look at some of today's artists, they doing stuff that was you you would consider an old style. You feel me? But it still sound good. So it's all about what feel good to you. So um, yeah, music changed. It changed a lot. Uh, a lot of stuff is, it is what it is, but you know, I know what I'm looking for as a as a consumer, so I just gravitate to the shit that I like. You feel me? And it's it's some good music out there. I don't really focus on the on the bullshit music that's out there because it's a lot of that too. But I don't 
I don't focus on that. You feel me? What advice would you try to give somebody trying to, you know, pursue music right now? Uh, learn the business. You feel me? Learn the business. Just like if you're going to fill out, uh, apply for any job, you feel me? They're going to ask you, you know what I'm saying, what qualifications you got. So, you know what I'm saying, what qualifications do you have if you're trying to get into this business? Like, do you know anything about it? Like, you feel me? You need to know what you're stepping into. That way you won't have to worry about people taking advantage, advantage of you, robbing you. You feel me? You're not... Uh, you know what I'm saying? Getting your right, your just due for the work that you put in. Learn to learn the game. How, how do you feel about the violence that's plaguing hip hop today? Uh, it's sad. Because when I really start, uh, you know, taking this music thing seriously, you know what I'm saying? Coming from the streets, it was like, this is my job. So I stepped in with a different mentality. I wasn't trying to be the street dude in the music industry. You know what I mean? It's just like, cause I would have stayed on the streets with that. So, I mean, you got dudes out here that probably was never really in the streets. And now they surrounded by street dudes. They've been infatuated with it. So they get, you know what I'm saying? They, 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 like, they like that, that negative attention they getting, you know what I'm saying? People like me and you, we know better. You feel me? We, we try to do something different because we come from that. So now that it's, it's money involved, you feel me? And, and, and real, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, trying to push shit together. It's like leave that bullshit to the side. But, you know, niggas, niggas gonna need. You know what I mean? That's one of the things. Niggas gonna need, man. It's sad, but niggas gonna need. <laughs> yeah, niggas gonna need. I ain't never heard of that one. That's, niggas gonna need. Wow. All right. Well, <clears throat> what was one of your biggest mistakes you made and what you learned from it? Knowing niggas gonna need. <laughs> Say that again. Hey, what was one of the biggest mistakes you made and what did you learn from it? And then I said, knowing niggas gonna need. <laughs> oh, <laughs> not knowing the business because niggas gonna need, man. Not, <laughs> you feel me? You, you step in this game, putting your faith in people and trusting them that they gonna, you know what I mean? Do what's right, but this is a business. And like I said, you gotta know the business. So that was that was the biggest mistake, you know what I mean? Being, a, being in a position to really uh, 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 get something out of something, but at the end of the day, it's just swept from up under you because you don't you don't know shit, you feel me? So yeah, that's one. that was one of the biggest mistakes and it made me want to learn the business. So that's what I've been doing, trying to learn, not trying, I've been learning, you feel me? And, and learning every day. What's up? Oh, that, is that why you started your own uh, entertainment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that, uh, lifeline? huh? Yeah, lifeline, lifeline entertainment group. Um, yeah, I started my own shit because it was like uh instead of depending on other people, you feel me? Just you know, if you can do it yourself, and I got people in my ear, you know what I'm saying, that really be like schooling me on the things to do, you know what I mean? Like, cause I'm it's not just about me, it's about trying to leave something for for, for my youngest and they youngest, you feel me? So I want to build my own shit that I can be responsible for, you feel me? And we still building, you feel me? But yeah, I want to start my own shit too. Like shit, fuck it, let me, let me get my own shit going because half the shit I'm doing anyway, you feel me? So let me put my name behind it <clears throat> too because I'm the one that's putting my, you know, not just the work in, but I'm putting my money behind it and all that shit too. You know what I mean? I'm, I didn't learn how to record myself and shit. Nigga. I be recording my own shit now, you feel me? I send my shit out to get mixed and mastered, but I'm doing half the job, so why not put my own stamp on it? You feel me? Right. And let people know. That's what's up. Right. Uh, uh, go ahead. Hey, what do you think uh, most people misunderstand about you? Uh, that I'm unapproachable. Like, people feel like, I don't know. They got this, they think we just hardcore gang member killers that don't have a conscience or a soul, and it's just like, come on, man. I, I, I'm I got a conscious and a soul. Trust me, I do. You feel me? I believe in a higher power. And the older I get, the more I feel blessed to even be around and try to tell somebody it's something better than this. You feel me? So, man. <clears throat> what what's what's uh your favorite album of all time? Oh shit. Uh that's a hard one. If we talking about rap. Cause I was I was really thinking outside of rap right now, but if we talking rap, I'm gonna say uh, 
I'm gonna say Ice Cube death. I'm gonna have to say two, man. It's a, it's a tie between Ice Cube death certificate and Snoop Dogg doggy style. And why? Because uh, man, every song on there was a banger. It was an experience. It was, it was no skips. Like even on the interlude, you want to hear what was going on in the interlude. You feel me? It was like that shit was just timeless. Like you feel me? I was just listening to that uh summer vacation the other day, man. That's one of the coldest songs. Like that nigga Q, man, that shit hard. He was before his time with that. He was before mm-hmm. his time. With that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what's what's your favorite? Uh, uh what, what, what else? R and B? You you saying you didn't you didn't want to just say uh rap? So, what what's your other favorite song? I mean album. Uh, what is it? Oldies or? outside of rap i mean i was just thinking like you know favorite because i i like i like a lot of r&b too but i don't know like i said i'm gonna break it down and i'm gonna leave it at them two albums though because that's that's <laughs> what i was yeah that nigga like i ain't, I ain't going there I ain't, I ain't gonna take that water the fuck all i don't know where that shit might float me through. You know, I don't it through. Nah. <laughs> i feel you i feel you hey, hey all right favorite movie favorite movie in a while oh uh, shit Favorite movie? This gonna fuck them up. Uh, I'm gonna have to say Prince Purple Rain. Mm. Mm. No, why, no. Why, why Purple Rain? Because it, it really, uh, it gave you an insight on, on an artist. Like, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? You just see people, you just hear the songs. You don't know what people go through. You feel me? It, you know what I'm saying? It like showed the shit he went through just to perform on stage. The shit he was going through at home. It was just like, it was a cold movie. You know what I'm saying? He had bitches. You know what I'm saying? I had some of the flyest bitches. Niggas thinking he, you know what I'm saying? He, you know, all that other shit. You feel me? It was just like, it just really gave you an insight on life. You feel me? And 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 and, a, and, a, and being an artist, like, you know what I'm saying? Outside of being an artist, it showed you the inside of who they are as a person. So that was one of my favorite movies. You know what I'm saying? Before I even got into music, like I, I, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm a Prince fan, like straight up. Like I love, I love Prince. Prince. Yeah, everybody, you know, it's a battle. They be like, who, who, who the baddest, Michael Jackson or Prince? I'm gonna say Prince. You feel me? Cause not taking nothing from Michael Jackson, but Prince wrote songs. That nigga played instruments. That nigga was, he was everything. You feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was the symbol that he turned himself into. It's just a name anymore. He yes. turned himself into the symbol. Yeah. <laughs> he did right. that. That's what he did now. You can with what you just said. Step right. Looking at it like, yeah, you know what? He deserved that. He did that. Yeah, you know, yeah, you yeah. yeah. You, you set them side by side in comparison. <coughs> I was at the like, yeah, he danced. Prince danced yeah. too. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. so yeah. All right, top five rappers dead or alive. Oh, off top, uh, uh, I'm gonna say Tupac and E40. Then my, then my top dogs right there. But uh, I'm gonna say Q, um, <coughs> no, and probably uh, shit, uh, between Jay Z and Nas. You know the last one. I'm gonna probably go with Jay. The last one, you feel me? No, I'll take that back. I'll take that back. Let me name my top five. <laughs> like I said, off top, Tupac and E-40, they're my favorite. I'm going to go with Cube, Snoop, and myself. <laughs> Ain't no wrong with that. Hey, you, yeah, you can't, can't go wrong with that top five. Nah, 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 nah. But yeah, yeah. But now, really, really, Snoop, you going to put Snoopy Blue over now? No, 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 no. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm giving you a flag right now because I'm gonna hit you because you know they're gonna be in the inbox. I'm a, like, hold I'm up. I'm gonna give it to Jay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm gonna give it to Jay. I'm gonna give it to Jay. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to save you now. I'm, I'm just joking, y'all. I'm just joking, but yeah. <laughs> okay. You, 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 uh, you familiar with the battle rap scene? Uh, I kind of got familiar with it because I was invited to one. And I really like, uh, I wasn't really hip to that shit, but when I seen it go down, it's like, yeah, that's some raw shit right there. Like, uh, I'm just now getting familiar with it. And I went to a female battle rap, so that shit was crazy. 
You feel me? They be talking shit and saying some of the raw shit ever. Like, but you, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta think of the raw shit. You feel me? You know what I mean? You yeah. can't, can't throw no hands. You can't, you know, none of that. You know, goofy. You know what I mean? You gotta, uh, like, uh, you gotta be lyrically. You yeah. gotta have, you know, metaphors. Yeah, they be going in. I, the one I, I mean, they be going in. They be talking about yeah, yeah. your I'm, mom I'm, and your kids. We <laughs> both, we both are a heavy battle, battle. Yeah, so I can, watch I can do that, shit. you know. But I, one thing I know for go to right. pay for service, I can't do it. I take my hat off to the motherfucking men oh, yeah. and women yeah. that can do it. I See, can I, do I, I take, yeah, I, I take, take my hat off too. Mm, yeah, I, I can't do it. do it. You know, it's. Man, gotta know his limitations. Yeah, know. I mean, back back in my younger years, you feel me? A nigga used to, you know, what I'm saying we used to battle rap on the block and all that type but of shit. It season. wasn't but like that. But it wasn't like I mean, it, it kind of was, but it kind of wasn't. You know what I mean? Because basically, it started. I mean, just just think about it. That shit really started off from the street. Somebody had a bright idea, like let's put this shit on the platform, and then it's at where it's at today. But it all started from the street. I mean, we used to battle rap bag on each other. We crack jokes on each other today. You feel me? So niggas do it, but now they just put it on a platform to where it's like, it's more controllable. So now niggas can say, really go in and say the raw shit. Cause you know, you ain't gonna get stomped out. You feel me It's people, you know what I mean? But it started on the block, you know what I mean? And, but yeah, it's on a whole different level right now. But yeah, I couldn't do it either. Cause I'm more of an artist. Like I said, I'm an artist. I ain't no battle rapper right now. I ain't. You know what I mean? Like, but in my younger years, you know, we used to do that shit. We used to do that shit for fun. I didn't clown niggas before. I didn't been clown <laughs> in battle rap. You know? Yeah. Favorite football team and why? Uh, the Baltimore Ravens. And I'm from LA. You know what I'm saying? But uh, my daddy's side of the family, they from out that way. So, you know what I mean? I've been a fan of, uh, shit, I've just been a fan of the Baltimore Ravens. You feel me? That's who I run with when I used to be on the Madden and all that type of shit. That's who I root for. Uh, Madden? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to be on Madden. Oh, you used to, so you, you don't fuck with it no more. Yeah, I don't fuck with it no more. I don't be having the, I don't be having the time, really. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just, just, just checking because you know if motherfuckers gonna be watching. Like, where that nigga? I need that face. <laughs> that nigga, I need that face. I'm talking about, yeah, this, 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 this was years ago. You know what I'm saying? I used to have a TV in the car and we used to sit, you know what I'm saying, play, be on the PlayStation in the car, you know, all that, you know, back in the days type of shit. But I don't, I don't get down right now, you feel me? Yeah. What, 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 I'm a, but I'm a LA Rams fan. I'm from LA. You feel me? So that's that's who I root for. But I'm just saying, the Ravens. That's that's, that's your team. Team. Stick stick with your team, bro. Don't just because <laughs> the Rams came to LA. They go <laughs> through that stadium. You weren't thinking about them niggas. <laughs> you right, know, right, right. That stadium, I'm cold. Hey, yeah. like, all y'all up there, like that stadium. Told us were like, yeah, nigga, hey. it's the Rams, nigga. You see the stadium? Now all of a sudden, <laughs> niggas is Ram fan. Niggas was 49er fan. Niggas was Raider fan. Now all of a sudden, today Raiders got a, Raiders got a nice stadium too. Raiders yeah, and yeah, LA, yeah. they stadiums are cold. Yeah. I don't care about no yeah. Raiders. I don't. <laughs> can't get no props to nobody yeah, if they ain't got them. Homeless still. If, if they ain't no Niners. Yeah. Who your team, man? Who your team? Let me ask. 49ers. 49ers. Okay. Bang, bang, yeah. Niners, they, they, bang. They, 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 just, they just beat my team, the Lions. Hey, hey Walter. Huh? I said, OK, Walter. Hey, <laughs> oh, yeah. hey. 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 I ain't never rocked a, a, a Raiders hat, nigga, for nothing. Right. Hey, it is. Them niggas, hey, well, this ain't about sports. Yeah, it is. Fuck that. Them niggas is going to be somewhere else <laughs> two years from now. Vegas going to kick them out and draft a whole nother team because they didn't build that big ass pretty thing. But these niggas should continue to lose. Right. <laughs> Them niggas, I mean, then uh, uh, all the Raider fans going to do is tear up, tear up the stadium anyway. The it's first all, time all. they win a game, first time they win a game, they going to celebrate by fighting. <laughs> Right. You think about it. The only time they ever fight at games is when they win. They don't ever fight when they lose. It's all entertainment. Yeah, it is. It is. I'm talking my shit just to make conversation. Okay, basketball. Who you fuck with with basketball? Uh, the Lakers off top. That's a no-brainer. Okay. Lakers, man. I go back to the Magic days and James Worthy and the Cooper. You feel so, me? So who is your favorite uh, Laker of all time? 
uh, my favorite Laker, shit, Magic. Magic. Why? Why Magic though? Like he, he, he just the player that you like, or you believe he's the best Laker of all time? Man, that nigga used to do magic shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like he was, the, he was he was the coldest man. That nigga had a cold hand game. Like you feel me? We I mean, there's some amazing Lakers. I ain't taking that from nobody else, but I'm saying, you know, that nigga used to do magic. Like you feel me? Straight up. That's facts though. I was watching the motherfucking game. Now I, I I got a question for you, man. What's the relationship like between you and uh? Spider Low, oh, my, my first my my first uh, encounter <laughs> or you know what I'm saying <laughs> project I seen y'all y'all got a few y'all got a few uh, uh pieces of music together, but the the beautiful the beautiful world or is it beautiful? This is beautiful. beautiful yeah, it's, right? yeah, it's it's a beautiful world. Yeah. Uh, old Spidey. Uh, old Spidey. <laughs> okay. Oh, Spidey, uh, ain't nobody tripping off that nigga. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, that nigga be on some whole shit. Niggas don't support or condone that shit. You feel me? That nigga be on some, some old, I don't know, cause niggas be, I don't know, these gangsters, they be wanna be talk show hosts. They be wanna, you know, talk about homies and hood shit and then do shit up under the flag. Don't come around, put niggas in jeopardy. You feel me? That be, in the land, you know what I mean? It's just like, it's just it's just a whole bunch of whole shit cuz be doing. Niggas don't condone that shit, so I separate myself from that shit, you know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? A nigga try to speak bad on me, smut my name, thought he could turn niggas against me. You know, the shit bitches do, they talk, you feel me? So we don't pay no attention to that shit. We let bitches do what bitches do, you feel me? Where shit should be addressed at, I ain't never been addressed with it, you feel me? So, cuz do him, I do me. Straight up, it is what it is. So, so with that being said, there's no four C of music down the line. No more music. To to why? Why would I want to fuck with a nigga that uh, want to play games with my life? Like hell no. Nah. You feel me? And I didn't have niggas, you know, be like, oh man, you know, I'm all about the music. But at the end of the day, I'm all about real shit, too. I'm not about the fake note. Put it like this. Loyalty is everything. I'm a loyal nigga. I'm a team player. I ain't do nothing but support and be have niggas back. Not just him, but other niggas. You feel me? When niggas want to get on his head or whatever. You feel me? I'm I'm the one that's, you know what I mean? Like, just look at all the old shit. If you can pull it up. You, you see Cuz tagging my name first because I'm the nigga that's out here. You feel me? So at the end of the day, a nigga want to play games with my life. Don't approach me, but you want to try to say shit to try to have niggas. Or, you know what I mean? It's just like, Nick, like I said, hoes do hoe shit. So why would I want to fuck with a nigga that do hoe shit? I ain't no hoe ass nigga. I'm a real nigga. You feel me? That's why I get the respect that I get. So no, I don't see no foreseeable future of us doing shit unless cuz, I mean, I don't know. People can change, but I'm just saying, I don't see cuz changing because niggas, niggas be caught up in their identity crisis or midlife cry whatever the fuck they be going through but i've been the same throughout it all and i'm gonna remain the same so no i'm not about to fuck with no nigga that talk talk bad about me behind my back smile in my face you feel me and all that goofy shit it's like fuck all that man a nigga too old for that shit anyway you feel me i ain't got time for that shit i'm trying to do music let my music speak and the street shit i leave it in the street I ain't about to, I'm about to start uh, doing more going live and doing podcasts too, but it ain't going to be about me trying to talk about some, you know what I'm saying? Some shit that ain't even supposed to be talked about. It's just like, come on, cuz, you feel me? So nah, I wish cuz the best, you feel me? But I'm, I'm I'm on my own road to success and I don't- uh, To becoming spiritually I don't, wealthy. I don't, I don't need the negativity. I don't need the negative energy because that, you know what I mean? That ain't, that ain't what I'm looking for out of life, you feel me? Yeah, spiritually wealthy. Right. That's what I'm about. You feel me? I'm about feeding souls, saving souls. You know what I mean? Not tearing tearing people down. You know what I mean? To make me feel good. Because at the end of the day, check this out. <laughs> they got this thing called a cancel culture, right? Right? Can't nobody cancel nobody. When you get to the gates of heaven, 
God ain't gonna be like, oh, your homeboys didn't like you. You can't get into heaven. You feel me? So, man, I ain't got time for that negative shit that niggas be trying to talk about they about, but then they trying to preach positivity, but you talking negative and doing negative shit. Like, man, fuck all that. Like, I, I separate myself from that shit, man, for real. I'm on some real grown man shit. You feel me? And like I said, the hood shit is the hood shit. When I'm hanging out with my homies, half the time I don't even expose that shit. You feel me? But nigga, I'm right there in, the, in you know what I'm saying? I'm with my niggas. You feel me? That's from the set. We in the set. We we chilling, having a, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I It is what it is. You feel me? But I'm about other shit. When it comes to speaking to the world, it's just like, I'm going to try to tell your kid, like, I'm gonna tell my son, this ain't the road you want to go down. I'm not gonna promote some shit to entice him to want to, you know what I mean, be a part of some shit that I know that he can be doing something better with his time. Like, you feel me? Like, I don't want to be a, a, a fucking talk show host that put people down. You feel me? If anything, I want to talk about some, some uplifting shit or just at least try to make light of the shit. You feel me? Not just I'm waking up to speak on another nigga that's gay to me like you feel me like why you got another nigga on your mind like what the fuck <laughs> but niggas do what niggas do like i said it's entertainment so if that's the way niggas want to entertain then they entertain their way and i'm gonna entertain my way you feel me it's wrong for everybody yeah nigga, as far as the gang culture I, I'm, you know, we at that age where we to a certain degree we trying to outgrow certain situations. I don't wish gang banging upon none of my kids or none of my nephews or nieces. I don't I mean, wish. not at all. Because but I mean put it like this. Off camera, you know what I mean? We was having a conversation, you know what I'm saying, about because I had gave you the homie number and you was like, you know, we was in the in the pen together or whatever. Right, right, right. right. So at the end of the day, niggas should be able to come together. It's like this. You ain't gotta be from no from somewhere to be nobody. You feel me? It was different reasons why niggas joined gangs back in the days and all that. It was just different. So today is no reason to even, you ain't got to be a part of something to be somebody. Just be who you are. You feel me? And that's what I'm going to try to, I mean, that's what I give to the people. You feel me? That's what I give to my kids. None of my kids gang bang. You feel me? I got one son, three daughters. You feel me? My son ain't thinking about gang banging. That nigga doing his music career. He's, he's on some other shit. You feel me? He ain't thinking about the streets. And I'm so thankful for that. <laughs> oh, excuse me. My little cousin, um, who grew up under me, like, you feel me? He wanted to, you know, he was on his way, you know what I'm saying? Trying to be my little homie, you know, hanging out with the homies. Doing, I was like, you know, I had to think, like, one day, I'm like, man, what the fuck? Like, you know, I cut that shit fast. Like, you feel me? He's in the military now. He's doing good. And he always trying to thank me, like, for, lot, for not letting him go down that road. Like, you feel me? Like I said, when I answer to God, I want to answer for good things, not the negative thing. You know what I mean? Like, we all trying to make up for the bad things that we did in life. You feel me? Trying to correct some things. You feel me? I'm not going to continue to add to the to the plate that, that, that I got to be judged off of. You feel me? I, I want to add something positive to the plate where he'll be like, you know, pat me on good good job. You know what I'm saying? Welcome. You feel me? Straight up. So trying to impress niggas out here. What I had to learn, straight up, uh, friends will turn into your enemies. You feel me? And at the end of the day, you know, I was out here, you know, throwing throwing these throwing these two fists. You know, niggas, niggas be on the internet doing all this, but it be niggas out here in these streets. I had to think about it. Like, man, what am I doing? Like, I'm wasting time and energy on some bullshit, but I need to flip this shit. And that's exactly what I did. I flipped this shit. Because like I said, trying to impress man ain't going to get you to that greater place in life. You feel me? And that's what I'm trying to get. And I'm, I'm, I'm not just talking heaven. I'm talking about a better life for my kids, a better life for myself, a better environment where niggas can walk around and feel comfortable. ain't got to worry about, you know, the bullshit. You feel me? I'm trying to get to that place. Negative energy ain't going to get you there. It's going to keep you stuck in that negative box that you in you feel me so to each his own duck i ain't got nothing i just i just keep looking at that that uh the black in the back what is what you say that was 
what, what he said is that a picture in the back oh that no nah, it's a it's a um it's a rug of all the um you know og hip-hop people you feel me but i didn't want to put it on the floor because i didn't want to step on nobody you know what i mean step on the legend so i put it on the wall you feel me <clears throat> and i actually had a contest uh when people came to the studio if they can name everybody on the rug they would have won a hundred dollars but i seen a lot of people got this rug now so and nobody guessed it one person came close but uh you know yeah it's a lot of uh that look like that look like like a historical rug though like them, 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 them. all of the the, the 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 earliest people i see is tupac snoop dog and biggie small i don't see yeah, every every now. everybody is before their time like you feel me one person was like oh they go 50 now 50. nobody from that generation is on there you feel me it's before that you know what i'm saying so you saying from 96 on out yeah you know what i'm saying uh the brat, uh, well, the brat is kind of you know MC Life, um, shit, uh, Eric B and Rakim. It's a lot of people on here. Heavy D, Run MC, yeah, Slick Rick, Grandmaster uh, Flash, she pun, baby. Big Pun, yeah. Um, yeah, you got a nice little plug. I, I, where, where you get that from? If you don't mind me asking. Oh, no, you can ask me this. I got it off the internet. You know how you be scrolling on Instagram and then them little shits pop up? Mm. Like little different sponsor shit. I had seen it one day and I was like, oh, that shit will look nice in the studio. So <coughs> I got that motherfucker. But they got different ones and shit. Right, yeah. um, I like it. I like you had it. a good eye for that one. Oh, yeah. You had a good eye for that one. Because I want, I want to, you know what I'm saying, give people, I just want to set the tone. You know what I'm saying? Get people in the mood to want to rap. You feel me? And what better than just to look at legends? You feel me? One day out, you know what I'm saying? You want your face on a on a rug, not on a shirt. <laughs> you don't want your <laughs> on somebody's wall. On you don't want your face on a shirt in the wrong oh, way. You don't want that part of the you know, And some, you know, some respectful shit while you alive. You feel wow. me? <laughs> while you above ground. But yeah. Hey, I thank you for tapping in with us, man. You know, I ain't got it unless it's something you want to combo on. <coughs> oh, man, you know. Thank you for having me. Oh, hey, hey. Um, ain't you working on a, a movie soundtrack or something? Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, the Birth of a Crip. Um, Raymond Washington kids. Raymond, Raymond, um, Raymond Washington Jr., Lil' Raymond. And his sister Ray Ray, you know what I'm saying? Them, them, them like family to me. And they wanted to uh create a song for they for they for their father. So it was uh Daytona Gold, the homie uh Baby Day and Bronco. You feel Bronco, me? Bronco from, Bronco from Fudge Town. Yeah, Bronco from Fudge, you know what I'm saying? She wanted me to be a part of it. A guy yeah. right there. Yeah, she wanted me to be a part of it. So we did a song called Birth of a Crip. Uh, we shot the video. It's being edited right now, so y'all be on the lookout for that. Birth of a Crip, Daytona Go, Bronco, Snoopy Blue, in remembrance of the man that, you know, started this Crip thing. Raymond Washington, the great. Man, Ben is know it's your day today. What you gonna do for you? How you gonna, uh, after this video, what you gonna, what, what's your intentions on your, how you gonna spend the rest of your C day today? Well, I'm a, you know, I got like five homies from the hood. We all got the same C day. Um, two of them, R.I.P. Uh, Mama Kelly, Big Milk, you feel me? Um, but uh, we we normally celebrate, start off on the block, and then from there we gonna see, you feel me? Might duck off, might you know party? I don't know. We gonna figure it out. Yeah, no. Well, you go in and enjoy your day, man. And we take we we appreciate you tapping in with us on G connect you know what i'm saying and we look to hear from you soon you know yes we'll sir back in anytime soon welcome to holler at your boy over here man yeah 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 and y'all follow my new instagram snoopy blue the low you feel me my old one got hacked you know how that bullshit go but um y'all follow my new instagram because we're gonna rebuild we ain't gonna let nothing tear our spirit down or you know what i mean try to keep us down because as long as you're breathing you got a chance at life. You feel me? Right. Roses. Go get that roses. You feel me? Roses. It's about giving people that roses while they're here. Don't wait till they're gone. My other single, Spaceship, Everybody Can't Go and Stop Playing, featuring T. Hottie, Roscoe Lowe, 
lady trendsetter. You dig? Yeah. And you do know this. Uh, Shout out to my nigga Mac Lucci, built a ball. You already know what it is. Lifeline Entertainment, he sawed out. Yeah, you know that. Good luck, my nigga. Pink. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> What it blow, what it blow. What it blow, what it blow, Snoopy Blue, what it do. Top of the mop, top of the mop. Yeah, my big cat. That nigga play top of the mop. Hot top, top, top of the mop. That's the first thing you touch when you get ready to clean up, you feel me? Ba hey, basically, basically. All right, you are nasty, nigga, what it do. What it do, man? Chilling, man. Let's see another. Mm -hmm. Let's see another. Rose. Rose. Well, shit, he heard me saying without it. It was a report to me right this morning. Mike check, Mike check. Mike check, Mike check. Mike check, Mike check. Mike check. So I was just about to do the same thing. Let me roll me an extra one. You feel me? Too, uh, never know. Uh, we're a little better. We're, we're a little better ready today. Okay, okay. And that shit yesterday <laughs> was uh, I do not understand how I did that goofy shit, bro. Let me let me look up here in the corner and make sure that bitch do say record right no, now. That's their record. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I heard it. Oh, hold on. Hey, we shit, all, we that all. That shit was embarrassing, bro. I, hey, I ain't gonna lie. That shit had a nigga old feel like, what the fuck? That hey, shit happens sometimes, man. You feel me? It was a good interview, though, but shit happens. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we finna make it even better this time, though. You know, because a nigga more familiar with the content. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I got the vapor out of water pipe, bowl of bone. I get it proper with the green like a teacher Joe. What you know about the hip thing? The map is black. Don't worry, that's the lift. Ain't worth not not on your ass. Like grab two of them, dog. Ah? No, I was telling the homie grab two water. You can go get water. Yeah, man. Hey, man, that nigga Bronco, man. We, man. Yeah, I was just about to ask you, did you get a chance to highlight yeah, it? Yeah, we linked up last night, man. We sat up and talked for a good couple of hours, man. I think, man. Reminisce, man. That's, that was my young step, man. We, we, we did, we jailed together, man. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how that is, man. If we was, mm -hmm. we was allies, you know, you know, nigga wasn't about to blow the red. Yeah. He was about to black it. Oh, oh yeah, it was, you know, hey, you know the problem. Yeah, we can just get that shit to trickle to these streets and these youngsters, man. Man, that's the hard part right there, man. It's a much better uh place to be. If niggas would press, if niggas would press like niggas press the joint about it. Yeah. You know, when nigga come up in there, you ain't got no choice but to get along, my nigga. You gonna get that? You gonna get your issue, right? You know. Now, if it's personal rivalry shit, then certain shit could be okay. You two niggas go over in that mop room and handle that, no nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, you know, nigga still gotta do what he gotta do. So yeah. That ain't happening out here, not, no. You know what I'm not in this day and age. Oh yeah, you gonna take an hour to go. Oh, God, I got to <laughs> uh, there you go, man. Yeah, like, give, me, give me another blunt. Then, you ain't bro. got no backwoods, nigga. So you did, nah, did you bring some no backwoods? Back okay, then how you gonna come back to the smoke shop? Yeah, how you gonna come to the smoke shop and act like you know what I'm saying? You didn't bring no backwoods, but you wanna, you know what I'm saying? Shit, I ain't bringing no weed to go in the back. Hey, well, shit. I didn't expect you to feel my backwoods. Do that. Do that. <laughs> Do that. Do that. I agree with you on that. Hey. No matter what a villain do you see. Well, the the East, you ain't trying to steal nobody's bag. My shit. <laughs> now with my shit, we can feel you can feel you your bag yourself with the same thing I'm trying to get for the I ain't gonna take my shit in your bag. Shit talking and mean mugging, get your butt in your mouth. 
had no vocals, ain't no better have your ass in the mix. Wrong hey, time and trying to hear that shit. Niggas gotta confess the shit I'm saying. The truth, finally, fuck with me. Don't fuck with the system you do. Stay strong, right with your own. You gotta go sit on the body. That's why he looked the game. Never switch. Yeah, that early morning. Back when the bricks took up them haters, get your paper, watch them hold on your chair. I have to go get me some weed this morning. Like, man, I can't do no interview and I ain't smoke. I can dig it. I can dig it. Just finish it off, nigga. Yeah. I was trying to be helpful. Oh, yeah. What's wrong with black folks, yeah. man? You ain't had to roll. Uh, you gotta talk shit again. Don't oh, talk shit and try to help a nigga. Oh, I don't fuck that. Nigga don't want your help after you talk shit. Yeah, no, I do this shit, my God. What's wrong shit. with these younger generations? This nigga a decade younger than me. He fixed up to a nigga. He don't even want it now. He don't even want the help, my nigga. Yeah, no, but I know I can do it myself. Why, why well, would nigga, I want your help? You talking just, shit. Just because a nigga talking shit. <laughs> and I know I can do it myself. Man, go on here about your business. Dude. Proper criticism. So you taking, you taking, you taking proper feedback and you know the wrong way. And that's what's wrong with you, young. No. You know what I'm saying? When niggas try to that's tell you something, with the older, everything is hate. Uh -oh. nigga, nigga nope. hate no nope. The mm -hmm. older, the older ones don't know what's proper and what's not proper, and they right. think everything they say is proper. No, that's not the case. Everything ain't ain't proper advice. Everything ain't proper this and that. You know, because the older ones say, it. you know, that well, ain't so, it. And then when the old head don't say nothing, you motherfuckers let you crash into the wall. Then we wrong. Uh, but right. then when y'all don't listen. We, we don't know what we're talking about, and we wrong. Uh, at the same time, did I not know what I was doing? Did I not roll the button to smoke it? Well, my turn is never to what you're saying yeah, it to me. We just took an hour, that's all. It, it took, took an hour. my time. It took an hour, though. It took you know? my time. Yeah, it was an hour, though. You it took my time. Know? It's still gonna take an hour. This the blunt you gave me, and it still ain't together. So what you saying? What you saying? Look, you saying? Over there, look he over there you letting it out. <laughs> Man, go ahead, roll your blunt, bro. He, all you had to do was finish it off, bro. It was already there. You sitting there talking, letting it just fall out, making it lighter right here. It was all See, stopped. That's, that's old school. Old school. Yeah, I tell you, what these youngest boy, I don't know, but young school will tell you better. Hey, get rid of them. Smoke. No, young is gonna be out of smoking at that tree bark and back. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, nigga, we come from zigzag days. Nigga, still, nigga, I ain't smoking a regular blunt. I'm smoking a hemp wrap. Nigga, I'm trying to preserve my shit. Right. Might as well go on and get that drop out the way. Yes, sir. So. Go ahead. It's on you. G2Bs, a generation conversation. You ain't got the patience. You don't.